Hey, what's up everyone? It's Donald back today for a video about how to make the first boss of Gorgon really, really easy. It's for the melee DPS. I've seen a lot of people just going, hitting the boss with the great sword and thinking that they were going to survive somehow. But the reality is the boss is doing a tail swipe that you cannot dodge. So if on your great sword you trade the skyward slash for a calamity counter, then you're fine. You just have to do calamity counter and you blocked it. And since uh, on the great sword onslaught uh, tree, you're gonna get some refreshing. The calamity counter gonna come back really quick. So, like, just make sure that you get the calamity counter if you have hard time to complete this red, and it's gonna make everything easier for you. That's it, man. Really quick, really easy tips. So then you can try to just go behind the back leg and even under the tail. So you see when. You hit the boss with your great sword. Sometimes you get lunge into it, and if you're too close to the front leg, you're gonna take some some hit from the boss. But if you're like behind the boss, it's gonna be just easier to not not, not get moved in the front. And if if the the tank move around, it's gonna be easier to react around this area. Pay close attention right there. I'm doing an EV attack, and I enter into the onslaught stance since I only have one ability that can put me into the unsold stance this passive becomes way more useful because usually i don't even use it on my great sword but right now this passive i'm using it a lot and i like it but you cannot stand there without calamity counter or sundering repost like the it's why i think uh in the gorgon red the rapier and the great sword are once again the best weapon into the red only for that people think the boss is hard i'm gonna go range it or whatever but they, it, they just make it harder for themselves when they are away from the boss it's just harder to see the animation from the boss to hear the noise of it and know what attack is gonna do when you're like on like on the boss I can almost just dodge by noise. It's, it's really easy. And then you, you just dodge some attack and you use your repose for some and you're fine. So make sure to use that at your advantage. Uh, the Serenity Greatsword is a big thing and it's, it's bad when you don't add it for sure. But still, I'm pretty sure you can get like a Greatsword with like Trenchant Strike or Trenchant Crit. And have like a nice combo into it. And if you use like the finisher as a secondary, it's gonna boost your DPS on bleeding target. You're not gonna use the finisher, you're still gonna use your great sword. But your great sword, when you're EV attacking and apply bleed, you're gonna see it's on the right side on the uh, on the tree. You're gonna apply bleed, so you don't even need to put out your rapier, and you're gonna benefit of 15% base damage. So Okay, you're not gonna have trench and crit and trench and strike, but at least you're still gonna gain uh, some decent DPS. And do you really need a Raoring Rupture? Like, at this point, it's your choice. Like, you don't need to put Roaring Rupture. You can have a spear to put the Enfeebling. Uh, the, the Enfeebling don't need to come from the Great Sword. And what happened is. Uh, usually I'm gonna use my regular build for the war red and I'm just gonna change to calamity counter for the boss because it just makes sense when you think about it. This gameplay is kind of weird because uh, I respect before the the red and I forget to put my point and just after that fight I kind of realized that I did not had like my point you will say i don't really hit hard and i have zero con like uh I, i'm really squishy it just makes no sense and i don't do that much dps dude so uh this is it for this video man it, it, 
it's kind of simple. I'm gonna let you guys with the gameplay. Uh, take, thanks a lot for watching. I love. I got some new content coming every day on this channel. Make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.